Thank you for listening to the Urban Pitch Podcast, The Beautiful Game of Life. Today, we have a very, very special soccer guest, Vanessa Busso in the house. I'm not on the high, the yeah, high school You're not on the high school team. soccer team. No, no, But no. obviously, you're on some soccer team, so tell yeah. what's the jersey and the medal from there? So, this is from the, mes- the medals from the World Cup. Okay. So, we played the World Cup in Uruguay, mm-hmm. 2018. Mm-hmm. Um, we got second place, mm-hmm. which was pretty cool because Mexico has never been past the quarterfinals for mm-hmm. girls. Okay. So I think for us, that was like this huge, That was a very huge, big deal, huh? Yeah, like Dang. huge, like we literally, like we acted like the quarterfinals was mm-hmm. like the finals. Okay. Because okay. it was just huge. All right. Um, and so that's a uh, silver medal. Yeah, right? silver medal. Okay. So I'm pretty proud of this. Yeah, of course. And you're wearing the jersey too, right? Yeah, so this is uh, one of my game jerseys. Okay. I have a green one as well. Um, but yeah, it's my jersey and I'm number nine. Right. Yeah. And is that your position as well? Ah, uh, yeah. I play the nine. <laughs> okay. So you play the nine. Well, who are your like uh, soccer kind of idols then growing up? Idols. Uh-huh. I or think... Heroes or people you emulated. You know, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably think like uh, maybe like is it like the Neymars of the world and that or is it like before him? I think Pele was pretty good. Okay. He was. I I really looked up to him. Uh-huh. Um, How but do you yeah. know Pele then? From watching his highlights on YouTube or probably watching his highlights yeah, on like okay. Instagram. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So. By the way, do you know what his real name is or his full name? I do not. Okay, it's Edson Arantes do Nascimento, and his name isn't even Pele. It's like some weird, it's some weird nickname. Yeah. That it's he better because yeah. no one's gonna be able to pronounce <laughs> it. No one's gonna pronounce his real name right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Okay, so then Pele was kind of someone that you all kind of looked up to. Who else? Um, Messi, as like cliche as that is, like mm-hmm. everyone looks up to him. But I, I, I think he was like born with like that natural talent. Mm-hmm. So it's like for him, like I see his like highlights or I see his games. I'm mm-hmm. just like, it's so easy. Like, how do you do it, man? Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, and um, Alex Morgan, mm-hmm. that's a big one for okay. me too. Yeah, yeah. Because you're, you're. How old are you right now? I am 17. Okay, so since you're 17, because a lot of the, probably the, the female players are a little bit older, a lot of them would cite maybe, um, you know, before Alex Morgan, I would say, who's the, who's the one from the U.S.? And she's, the, it's na- escaping my name, but she's like the number one, Mia Hamm, right? Mia Hamm, okay, yeah. Did you watch Mia Hamm at all growing up? Or? I did, a couple, okay. yeah, videos, okay. yeah. Um, yeah. I watch soccer, maybe mm-hmm. not as much because I'm so busy with school and stuff. Mm-hmm. I don't really watch TV at all. Mm-hmm, like, my mm-hmm. mom tells me, why don't you watch TV? And I'm just yeah. like, I don't really watch TV. <laughs> okay, but when you do, you do I watch, do. like, I uh, do soccer watch, games? yeah. Okay. Like, when the World Cup's on, oh, yeah. I'm there watching every game. Okay. Like, I'll sometimes even miss school just to watch right. the games. But, of course, you like playing more than watching, right? Yes, of okay. course. Okay, so let's talk a little bit about your experience then in the in, in uh, Uruguay, right? Yeah. So then uh, that was for the U-17 team? No, uh, Uruguay. Um, uh-huh. This was, yeah, this was in Uruguay. Mm-hmm. Um, so what we did was we went to training camp. So mm-hmm. what, how it works is, you know, they call us up. We train okay. with the team. Well, I, would, I don't know. I've never been called up. So what does that, <laughs> what does that mean? Called oh, so up. So like, we get a little, like we get a little email saying, yeah. um, you, you know. You have been selected. You have been selected. Okay. Yeah. That's why it's called Selection, right? Selection, yeah. Okay. You have and been selected. It's like all professional. It's just sure. like you get it. And I think when I first got the first invite, I was like mm-hmm. emotional. I broke yeah. down. I was crying. I was uh-huh. like, this cannot be happening. And how old were you when you first got that then? I was like 14. Okay. Oh, wow. Yeah. So, really so I've been, yeah, I've been okay. playing on the Mexican national team since I was um, U15s. Mm. So it's it's been a it's been a while. So mm-hmm. I, they definitely you say must, it, it's been a minute, right? It's been a minute. <laughs> it's been a minute, right? Yeah. Okay. They definitely say that I am one of the oldest. Like when there's new girls, like oh, they always say. As far say, as like your tenure, right, like yeah. how the, how long uh, you've been on the team? Yeah, how long oh, okay. I've been on the team? Because so you're saying like the, the the makeup of the team changes kind of a lot year to year. Yeah, it does. Okay. So like the U15s, um, there's been more mm-hmm. girls, you know, on the U17s. Mm. So it's like they come and then we show them around. We, you know, mm-hmm. we tell them how it is. Like you have to do this and mm-hmm. that. And you know it's 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 pretty strict, which is pretty good because mm-hmm. I mean we we always got to be strict to get to that level, you know. Right, right. So um, I think that's always great. And okay, so you're like one of the veteranas on the team. Yeah. Okay. Veteranas, okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and there's a lot of us. I mean, I have like best friends since I was in the U15s, mm-hmm. like my friend Nikki. Mm-hmm. Um, she's number eight. She's mm-hmm. mid. Um, my friend, my goalie, Bali, mm-hmm. all of them, mm-hmm. and so. Um, I think it's a pretty good experience. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And so then uh, you guys, you're talking about how you guys kind of exceeded or exceeded expectations, mm-hmm. right? And, uh-huh. and Mexico hasn't really ever gone that far. No, they haven't. Mm-hmm. And so I think for us, that was that's all we were aiming for, mm-hmm. past quarterfinals. I mean, mm-hmm. obviously we want to get to the finals, but we want to make history for Mexico. Mm-hmm. And so when we were at the semi, uh, when we were at the, f- uh, to pass, um, Quartos de finales. Mm-hmm. So the quarterfinals. Yeah, quarterfinals. Yep. When we mm-hmm. passed that, 
we were like, okay, now we got to make it to the finals. Mm-hmm. Like, that's all we got to go. Like, we got to we got to get the medal. You okay. know, we got to bring the cup home. Okay. So then you guys did not make it to the finals? We made it to the finals. Okay. Uh, we played Spain. Mm-hmm. And then um, I think that's when, like, the first half, I don't want to say we, like, gave first half away, mm-hmm. but we did. Mm-hmm. So what was the score at halftime then? Halftime was uh, one one zero or it was one zero yeah okay. one zero yeah okay. one zero and then um we scored mm-hmm. um second half and we we're like okay we can do this you know one more goal tie penalties but um i think at the end we all talked about it i was actually one of the girls that like everyone was crying and mm-hmm. i walked in and i was just like everyone like get up now mm-hmm. like get up mm-hmm. and we all got in a circle we held hands we prayed and i told them i was like dude like i'm proud of all you girls like mm-hmm. you guys are my sisters um we got second place like no one's ever no no mexican team mm-hmm. or girls mexican team has ever made it past that so mm-hmm. i think for me i was just so emotional that day mm-hmm. not because we lost but more because i was like proud of them mm. so yeah so that's probably been the 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 most uh, i guess emotional and like biggest game so yeah. far on stage yeah okay. as soon as i called my mom I was like mom what's up i was like hey mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah so then uh, uh your ethnic heritage then you're mexican yeah, I am okay. Mexican. My mom's from Michoacan, Morelia, Michoacan. Okay. So most of my my mom's family is from there. So we travel there to visit them. Mm-hmm. And um, my dad is from New Jersey, but he was like raised in Puerto Rico. Mm. Okay. So then, how does it work in terms of the fact that you're playing for the Mexican national team, right? Mm-hmm. Do you have uh, Mexican citizenship? You have dual citizenship. How does that work? Yeah, I have a uh, dual citizenship. Mm-hmm. Um, so since my parents are born in Mexico. Mm-hmm. Um, I am able to, you know, get my Mexican passport, mm-hmm. and so I can travel from both. both. Okay. Yeah. So right now it's probably like at a very, it's kind of like at a critical juncture in your career too, right? Because you're about to now get into the, like the senior team age yeah. wise, right? Yeah. So then, and at, at, there's a certain point where you can no longer choose, right? Like if you if you make an appearance for a senior team, mm-hmm. uh, are you allowed to make? You know, is there a certain number of times you can make an appearance before your your choice is like fixed? Do you know what the what the uh, FIFA rules are on that? Well, um, so when I was on the U15s, I used to mm-hmm. play for US as well, mm-hmm. and so I did that for the whole 15s and. Um, I kind of had my choice. It kind of got to the point where it was about to be the World Cup, and I had to like choose whether I want to be with Mexico. And I obviously was in love with Mexico with my professor, my coach, mm. and all the girls. So um, I kind of started leaning more towards Mexico. And um, I think it's more of when like the World Cup time comes, you yeah. can't you know play for both, obviously. Yeah. yeah. So um, now that I've been like in a World Cup, I think when it get you get to the Mayores, mm-hmm. it's when you can't. You know, yeah, you have yeah. to stick with one. You have to stick with one. Yeah. Okay. But you have experience on both. So, I do. what do you think is the kind of the the differences in terms of the the style of play for like U.S. in your experience and and the and the Mexico national team? Like, what was the kind of the differences? Um, I mean, I think for me, Mexico is mm-hmm. more of a like pass, mm-hmm. pass, pass, pass. Quick Everyone passes. got touches the mm-hmm. ball. You know, style kind yeah. of. Yeah, okay. and I love that because that's mm-hmm. just the type of player I am. I love playing with the team. I love doing like little plays. And um, I feel like for the U.S., it's a little different. Mm-hmm. They, like, they do do passes, and I feel like when we play against U.S., that's always a tough game for us. And um, but I feel like their way of playing is a little bit more to goal, like mm-hmm. shoot it, you know, like right. to a goal. Right. And um, but they're both amazing teams. Like mm-hmm. you can't come U.S. Right. Like, so do you have friends on the U.S. Uh, team as well? Then since I you do. Okay. Yeah, I do. So on the U.S. teams, when we play against the U.S., yeah. it's always yeah. like. Ah, uh-huh. right. So we it's gotta like an win. Extra, extra friendly rivalry kind of yeah. going on. Like I always, when we finish the games, I always give all of them hugs. Mm-hmm. It's just like, oh, I miss you, and it's mm-hmm. like, yeah. Okay. So then, so you're a senior. You're about to graduate, right? Yeah, I'm how about w- to graduate. How was it growing up in uh, in, in Orange County then, uh, in terms of like uh, when you were starting to to become really good at soccer, right? You're already like 14, 15, right? Mm-hmm. And so then, how is it at a high school? Are you known as like a jock, or you know what I mean, or are you just kind of kind of quiet and blend in or you know what I mean what how is that like um I think I'm known as a jock um mm-hmm. so in middle school um I was a little you know a little little girl mm-hmm. and um I always loved playing with the boys like okay. that's all I did was go to the field and play with the boys and my teachers would always notice like oh my god like she loves soccer and I was just there juggling mm-hmm. and they like they always said like oh she's gonna she's gonna go big you know mm-hmm. And so now, even though I don't play on the, 
the high school team, like mm-hmm. all my teachers know me as. Right, they know the, that you're, yeah, you're, yeah, yeah. They all the know path. me, and, yeah. and even like kids that say, oh, who is she? Like mm-hmm. everyone says like, oh yeah, she plays for the Mexican national team. Mm-hmm. So I think I'm more very loud and like, hey everyone, like, you know, hi. But I am really known as like the jock. Are you friend? Are you friendly with girls on your high school team as well, or do you know them, or you don't know them because you don't play for the school? Um, I don't. I did know them back a couple years when I was doing high school soccer, but not mm-hmm. as much anymore. I know a couple, mm-hmm. but um, not really. I go and watch here and there when they're like home games. Mm-hmm. I'll go. Um, yeah. How do you How do you stay in uh, shape, and what's kind of like your your training uh, regimen then? So um, I play with my club team, mm-hmm. Legends FC. Um, so I'll do training with them. It's from Monday to Thursday. I have not been going there right now because I've kind of taken a break from it because of school. Because school gets a little tough when you're traveling so much. Mm-hmm. And it's a little hard to keep up with, like, all the work that the teachers are giving me. So yeah, yeah. I decided to just do a personal trainer right now. Okay. So I'm doing a personal trainer from Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Mm-hmm. Um, and I love it. He makes me do kickboxing, so it's like it's pretty cool for me. Okay, yeah. so then you were so you obviously when you're going to uh, these games like international games or mm-hmm. even practices and training and whatnot, you have to miss some school, right? Yeah, I do. So then are the, are the teachers aware of it and they're trying to kind of go around your schedule, or are they making the you know a little <laughs> bit light you know lighter load, or you know I mean, is it like online so you can kind of get away with it? How does that work? Then? I mean, there's definitely some teachers that give yeah. me a really hard time. They're like, you're okay. leaving again. Right, right. And I'm just like, you want to okay. shout them out? <laughs> hey, let me just <laughs> give me an A. I know, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> but um, yeah, there's definitely those teachers. But uh, besides like that, uh, a lot of my teachers are pretty supportive. They understand mm-hmm. that it's big. Like, you know, they don't ever have students that, you know, mm-hmm. play for national teams as much. So they try to work around my schedule. Right. They'll give me my homework assignments when I leave. Yeah. And then I'll get them done. And mm-hmm. I come back, and I'll mm-hmm. give it to them. Okay. And then, yeah. Okay, that's. I guess that's pretty cool. What yeah. about like uh, because you're not on the you're, so you're not playing for your high school, but are you, do you do you have like PE then? Um, I okay. So I did my. We need two years of uh, physical education, yeah, physical, right? Yeah. yeah, PE. So I did uh, soccer my freshman and sophomore year. Okay. Oh, so instead of PE. Instead of PE. So you were on the team. Yeah. I was so you didn't have like normal, just like regular PE, right? No. With the re- with the with the non athletes. No, I ch- I chose the easy way out. Uh, okay. Because I was years. wondering, like, if you're playing PE and there's some of these guys and they're like, they know who you are and they're like, you know, getting extra competitive and trying to like <laughs> not even not have any of that. No. Honestly, no. Uh, um, you have some guys like challenging you to like juggling contests or like one on one out there. Or the what? boys, like, mm-hmm. in, at lunchtime, sometimes yeah. I head to the field and there's like some boys they'll be mm-hmm. playing with the ball okay. and I'll go and I'll like just juggle and they'll be like mm-hmm. oh my gosh you know how to kick it and I'm just mm-hmm. like of course there's girls right. that kick you know there's yeah. girls that play soccer okay but, but you're not doing any like uh, you know one on one or two on two like during lunchtime with these boys sometimes okay. there's some of my friends that I hang out with they'll be like oh I can do a better trick than you or mm-hmm. you know I'll, I'll, I'll juke you anytime and I'm just like come on let's mm-hmm. go <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think is uh, kind of the uh the difference between because you've played against boys then yeah okay I have. what do you think is the difference between uh playing just uh with girls and playing against boys and do you think it's it helps you know because mm-hmm. there's some coaches that will do practices and kind of intermingle right mm-hmm. with girls against boys and and others that are kind of strictly girls mm-hmm. what have you what has your like kind of background been like like the difference between them yeah or um, even having trained or practiced against them we're gonna like pick up games you know do you yeah. do you have that kind of experience or are you mostly just kind of with legends and the girls club you know team and all that well, um, right now I've just done girls, but mm-hmm. um, like Mexico, they'll have us play against like, you know, the U15 boys mm-hmm. and stuff like that, like a little scrimmage. Mm-hmm. But um, sometimes I'll play, like I'll get into like an older adult team, mm-hmm. like stuff like that, mm-hmm. and I'll go and see how like they are. And they're not older adults, they're more just like teens, like my age. Yeah. So I think the difference for me, it's more just that boys like play faster. Play faster. And they're quicker. faster and they're mm-hmm. like, oh my God. And then like, it's so hard to like, what did he just do, you know? Mm-hmm. But I love that. I love the whole fast, um, like, ball playing mm. the type the quick, of, the quick like, style. the quick style. Yeah, okay. I love that. And um, I think that's the difference. And with girls, they're also fast. I'm not going to say that. But right. um, I just think boys, like, maybe they just play quicker, and I, I like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's your, what is your kind of style of play then? Like, if you were to do, like, a scouting report on you, right, and then 
uh, talk about like uh, you know your skill set or you know your strengths or weaknesses or you know nobody likes to talk about their weaknesses but you know <laughs> like your own profile you know my own okay uh, yeah so I think I'll start with my weaknesses I okay. think my weaknesses more just like my left foot I gotta mm. work on that okay so you're you're I'm a right footed I'm a right -footed. and you're good with your right foot yeah but I can still yeah I just need to kick like okay. the the whole shooting mm -hmm. um, I'm pretty good at it not I just need to perfect it if that okay. makes sense there's always okay. things to perfect yeah um, finishing it off right finishing it off okay. yeah um, and I think I'm very good at finding like the passes as they re to receive the passes or yeah like, like I'll, or I'll, I'll have the, the i'll have the ball mm -hmm. and like let's say like some people won't see it but mm -hmm. i'll like see it in the corner and i'll just like hit it and then they have it at their feet and so you're good at even though you're a four you're I'm saying like you're good at you're you're good at passing yeah okay so yeah. you're not one of those fours that just always want to just go and Actually, shoot no okay. I'm, I'm very i'm like the opposite i used okay. to play center mid mm. attacking mid okay and um so i used to love playing that because i always found those like those seams, those right? seams yeah, yeah, like, yeah i would dribble and then i would see it and the girl would score okay. and i was just like i love that and also um i think i have a pretty good foot um mm -hmm. shooting wise yeah in yeah. italy i went to italy two years ago mm -hmm. um with the 15s and i scored three goals mm -hmm. and the three goals were from like a little bit in front of the the center line oh okay like the in the middle of the, yeah, middle of the field, oh, okay yeah. so you took these long range shots yeah okay and all the goals were just like center little corner of the box mm -hmm. and i love the shots in my coach always tells me, take more shots, take right, more shots. Right. How do you how do you practice your your shots? Do you use like the the skills nets or you know what I mean? Or yeah, um, I have yeah. like a little I have little cones and okay. I have a I have like the you know the they're like the, I don't know how to say it in English mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, like the little it. ghost. Okay. You know. Is, what is it like? A They're fantasmas. Uh, I think not okay. like, so okay. in Spanish. Yeah, 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 like the dummies, right? Yeah, the little dummies. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's because yeah. in Spanish they yeah, say yeah. fantasmas. Okay. Um, but yeah, they put. I always put, I have some of those, so I okay. put them, and then I'll just take shots and shots. Okay. So these are like uh, you're practicing like free kicks. A yeah, lot? free kicks. Okay, around dummies and all that. Yeah, or I'll put like cones in front, and mm -hmm. I'll do like little like, like do a move and then shoot it. Shoot it. Yeah. Okay. So do you take free kicks too, or no? I do not. Okay. Um, you're not a free kick specialist or anything like that. I mean, I'm pretty good at them. I, mm -hmm. I do practice, but I've just never been to be like, oh, I'll take it, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. here and there. Yeah. What about PKs? Oh, PKs, I think, uh -huh. is one of my specials. Really? Yeah. You like it? I love it, okay. honestly, yeah. Um, uh, with Mexico, we always practice them. Mm -hmm. We practice them so many times to the point where, like, it makes you, like, rethink where you want to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But um, I think I've always known where to do it and how to do it, and mm -hmm. I, all the girls always tell me, how do you do it? Because I do, like, this little snake mm -hmm. where I, like, go like this, and then I shoot it. I see. Kind of like your your walk up to it, mm -hmm. my your walk approach. Up. Yeah, my approach. Okay. Yeah. But then, as far as like placement, do you always have like a do you have a certain go to or I mean, you know what I mean? Like most most players, I think have like a favorite side, right? It's a secret. Yeah, it's a I secret. But then, like, okay. <laughs> but here's the thing, right? Once you get to a certain level and uh, you're recognized mm -hmm. and you're playing at a at an elite level, right? Yeah. You're gonna have to have like multiple shots, right? Yeah. Because um, it's always be no, one no, to the right no. or left, right? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. so I mostly go to the right, but mm -hmm. um, I think depending on how I, I don't always look at the goalie. I think when I go up there, mm -hmm. I'll like take a glimpse, mm -hmm. set my ball down, and then I step back, but I look down at my feet so the goalie doesn't know where I'm going. Okay. And then when I'm about to go, I always have like a little corner of my eye open to mm -hmm. know like if they're gonna if move they're this way. they're moving or not? Okay. Yeah. So then uh, are you the type to like make a last minute adjustment? Um, no, no. I, it's just more um, how fast I do it. But I always see just like, I don't know, it always happens. I always mm -hmm. see the goalie go to the left or okay. to the right and then. So let's say, for example, you're doing a, you know, your little snake uh, approach. Yeah. And then you're, you have in your mind, you're going to go right. And let's say the goalie was shading a little bit in that direction mm -hmm. on the setup, mm -hmm. right? And then as you're about to kick it, you see them like, you know, guessing that direction. Are you going to still go with your shot? Or yeah, you I it? think it's always good to before you get up there to mm -hmm. even say like i'm gonna go to the right right be confident on where you're going mm -hmm. because then if you second guess yourself yeah, yeah. it might not always go yeah, right so you're not one of those slow it down and try to see and then try <laughs> no, and go no. in the opposite direction and make a, a last minute decision or no, anything like that? No, okay. no no what happens is, i mean i'm sure everybody misses bks here's the thing right? yeah everyone yeah and so you know at the highest level messi cristiano right so then uh if you mess if you miss a pk right i'm sure it, like it's psychological and mm -hmm. it's in everybody's head right uh, how do you, what do you do to kind of, you know, get out of that? I mean, it definitely is frustrating, and I, I think it does make me a little angry. Mm -hmm. Like, there's times where I've missed, and I'm just like, dang it, like, mm -hmm. I should have shot it harder, yeah. or I should have placed it better. But, I mean, I, it doesn't make me think that I'm a bad penalty kicker. Like, I, it right. just makes me better. Like, I got to practice it more mm -hmm. and things like that. So it doesn't put me down. Mm -hmm. And I know most people probably, they get put down by it. Yeah. But it just, it, it's like my coach always tells me, like, a penalty kick doesn't define you as a player. Right, so right. it's like, okay. 
All right, changing gears a little bit. Let's talk about like uh, social media, right? Because yeah. I know you know you're 17, right? You said 17, yeah. 17, and uh, I think I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing. I don't know. I kind of feel a little bit sorry for the younger generation because they just grown up with social media, mm-hmm. right? Uh, I mean, ever since you're a kid, I'm you know it was like it's always been around, right? Yeah, it's always been around. Well, yeah. yeah. So then, is your like family or your parents strict first of all, or are they kind of more you know loose? I think my parents used to be more strict when I was younger, okay. but I think now that I travel a lot and I, you know, do things on my own. They're like, they, they're more laid back. Mm-hmm. Um, I think the more stricter one, mm-hmm. the stricter one is my mom. Okay. She's so definitely on me about grades and mm. you can't go out. And mm-hmm. my dad's just more like, let her, you know, let her mm-hmm. do her thing. She's getting old. She's about to be 18, you know? Mm-hmm. And so I think they're, they're like, they're pretty laid back. They're pretty laid back. Yeah. And then you have siblings? I do. I have a little brother. He's 11. Okay, so it's just you're the oldest and then your younger brother. Yeah, okay, and is he a, a player too, soccer player? Um, yeah, he plays for the same club as he mine, does. Legends okay. FC. Yeah. Got it, guys. So he runs in the family, I guess. Yeah, huh? he's very good, actually. He is? Yeah. Okay. I could be even better than me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so then with, with social media and whatnot, um, I'm sure you get a lot of different kind of inquiries and things like that on social media. Mm-hmm. Are you active on social media? Um, yeah, I'm pretty active on social okay. media. I post a lot of my training stuff, mm. you know, like at the gym or stuff like that, or I'll do live. I'll post a lot of, I love taking, <laughs> I love taking pictures. Mm-hmm. So I'll post a bunch of pictures, but it was, yeah, I'm are you pretty more, Are you more, so then like there's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, what are you, what's kind of like your, your platform of choice? More of Instagram. More of Instagram. Yeah. Okay. Not really like uh, is fa- is Facebook like I don't know is it dead for the younger younger? It's kind of like a parents app. Kinda. <laughs> I, like do the kids in high school even use Facebook or no? No, I think I I tell my mom because she uses she has Facebook and I always mm-hmm. tell her like she always tells me you should get a Facebook and I'm just like no mom I mm-hmm. think Facebook is a little. So you don't even have me. Facebook then? I don't. Oh, okay no. okay. Do you have Twitter then or no? I do not actually. Okay. So yeah. it's just basically Instagram. Yeah just Instagram. And Snapchat or no? Snapchat? Instagram and Snapchat. Okay yeah. so those are the two main ones. It's yeah. all about the the photos huh? Yeah it's all about right. I, I yeah I love to take pictures. I always when I go out with my fam like take me a picture and mm-hmm. you know I, I I just like to express myself in that way. Got it got it. Uh, so then high school how was like the high school whole uh, you know scene like in terms of uh, is there for you as an athlete, is there like peer pressure, you know, where, because first and foremost, you're an athlete, right? So you have to worry about your fitness and your training and health, all that. So mm-hmm. is there like, what's the what's the social uh, peer pressure like for you to, you know, go to parties and all that kind of stuff? Instead? Um, I mean, I definitely like to have fun, but I always mm-hmm. know that, you know, there's the national team and all that stuff. So mm-hmm. there's never really a pressure, especially my friends. They always know that like, I'm never about to, you know, not ruin my career but ruin mm-hmm. my career in that way I see. and so yeah i'll go and have fun with my friends mm-hmm. and you know we'll party it up but never in a way that will get me in trouble mm-hmm. that makes sense because yeah. i know that my stuff is on the line okay got it yeah so like uh jewel you know what jewel is right yeah is, oh. that, bi- is that big in high school like I- it is actually okay. i mean i don't want to you know say it you don't but wanna, you don't want to call out any names <laughs> you're saying right i don't want to call any names <laughs> okay. but i mean there is definitely kids that like uh-huh. Do your parents even know what Joel is, by the way? Do your parents and family, do they know or no? She's like, no, what is that? No, they don't even know what Joel is. Yeah, no. see, I'm hip, man. I know what's going on. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, there's definitely our kids that, I mean, it makes me mad. It doesn't okay. make me mad, but it makes me mad in a way that, okay. like, you know, I'll go to the bathroom and they'll be oh, like, Joel. Julian. And I'm just like, yeah. stop. Like, right. come on. And it's just, like, there's times where I've had, like, freshmen and coming mm-hmm. freshmen where I've, like, said, like, you know, like, just go do it, like, at home. Mm-hmm. Like, don't do it mm-hmm. at school. You know, you're. Right. But, so it's um, pretty prevalent then, it right? It is, yeah. Okay, even amongst like freshmen, as soon as they start mm-hmm, kind of going mm-hmm. in. Okay. I don't know if they think it's like cool or not, but honestly, I don't think it's cool. Like right. I've always thought, like no, right. I've, I've, always gonna, I've always been against it. I mean, the school and administrators and teachers are pretty aware of it, right? So is there like mm-hmm. a kind of like a an active like crackdown on that kind of thing? Yeah, it is. There's, mm-hmm. I mean, I mean, I think there's like um, our security. You know, mm-hmm, we have mm-hmm. a security at home at school, and so they lock. Sometimes the bathrooms of theirs, right. yeah. To so make sure like they can't even go into the bathroom. They can't even, yeah. Okay, got it. All right. Well, speaking of high school, then are, are you? Do you ha- obviously you you travel and all that, but do you have a pretty normal high school life? You know, are you? Do you go to like homecoming and uh, I mean, Sadie's? Do they even have Sadie's by the way? We do. We actually have okay, Sadie's okay. coming right. up. Did you? Oh, coming up. <laughs> coming up. Okay, yeah. Okay. Um. So our Sadie theme is Coachella, mm-hmm. so I'm pretty excited for that. Okay. And but so you already um, have a date. I might. Okay. <laughs> I might have a date. Yeah. Because Sadie's, um, the girl asks, right? Yeah. Okay. Girl asks. But then um, the girls don't even go, they don't put on this big old, um, like, 
performance behind it, right? Because nowadays, I don't know. I, I'm not sure if it's like good or not, but I see these guys putting so much effort into asking girls to the dance. Where you they, think so? I mean, there's like they're spending so much time and effort and money just to do the. I, I don't know. That's whole my whole thing. But the girls don't do that for the Sadies, right? They do. Um, yeah, they do actually, like, they do like a poster. Okay. So they like, make a poster for the guys. Yeah, most guys do posters. Yeah, yeah, most guys do posters. That's all I've seen at school. Okay, for the for the like when they're asking the girls. Yeah, when okay. they're asking the girls. I mean, there's one performance that I did see for prom where mm -hmm. this kid just asked her in a like in a, a school dance okay. like in lunchtime, and he came out with like dancers and he yeah. started dancing. I was like, oh, this and is did serious. She, did she say yes? She said yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah. So then, are you gonna make a poster for your Sadies or? I probably will. Okay. I'll probably make a poster and um, yeah, but uh, for you know the school dances, mm -hmm. I have missed a couple events. I mean, it's it's bound to happen, mm -hmm. be on the national team, but um, I've gone to a lot. So I've gone to homecoming. Mm -hmm. Um, we didn't have a winter formal, but we do have a Sadie's and we have a prom. So okay, yeah, so you're planning to, to hopefully go to both. Yeah, I mean, okay. if I don't get to go to prom, I yeah. did go to prom my junior year. So oh, you did. Yeah. Okay, so then you already have somebody in mind, or do you have a boyfriend? I do not have a boyfriend. Okay, so it was just a friend. Okay, so yeah. there's uh, potential uh, boys there that you yeah. may ask that, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but no one special that quite up there uh, that's uh, winning that race. No. Okay. Uh, speaking of like uh, high school experiences, um, what what is the like the the biggest thing that you like about high school right now? You know, mm -hmm. and what's like the thing that you don't like about high school? Um, I think the biggest thing I like about high school right now, there's a lot of um, like people like uh, seniors like to say senioritis. Mm. So a lot of people like to lay back in the senior year. Mm -hmm. But um, I don't think I'm getting that. I think I'm more like I gotta finish. I gotta finish. Um, but. I like to hang out with my friends. You know, after school, we go eat mm -hmm. as a group, and I think that's pretty big. We'll go to the beach, you mm -hmm. know, we'll do things like that that I didn't really do last year or my other years. Mm -hmm. So I think definitely, like, I think that's my best high school experience, hanging out with my friends mm -hmm. and, you know, doing all those fun activities. Mm -hmm. But um, the education part, mm -hmm. I think, has gotten better as well. Okay. Um, my teachers are more supportive of that, mm -hmm. and... I'm pretty thankful for that because you know my senior year is like the most important to me right now. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, I mean I think the thing I don't like, mm -hmm. the thing I think it's more just I want to get out of high school. You want to hurry and finish? Yeah. Okay. I want to get into college already, mm -hmm. and I want to start my stuff. Right. And speaking of that, you you have a scholarship to Cal State Fullerton. Yes. I have so you already a, committed, and that's already ready to go. Yeah. Okay. You had other offers from other uh, other schools that you were potentially uh, thinking about. I did. Um, I had other offers. Mm -hmm. um, I in the beginning I thought I wanted to stay. I wanted to go far from home. Mm -hmm. um, get away from mom and dad. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> they, they still told me you want to get away from. Home. I was like, yeah, yeah kind of. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, I had other offers, and I, I was thinking of going far, like West Virginia. Mm -hmm. But then I was just like, no, this is too far. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to stay really close to him. So right. Cal State Fullerton, um, I went on a visit, and I really loved it. And I was yeah. just like, their field, they don't have a football team. Mm -hmm. So their football, their football field is our soccer field. Right, right. So it's pretty big, mm -hmm. and so I kind of I fell in love with Cal State Fullerton, and I, I'm kind of admitted there. Did you did you did you go on other uh, recruiting trips and visits to other campuses? I did. Okay. Um, yeah, I went to UCLA. Mm -hmm. I went to uh, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. So like I all went, the top programs, pretty yeah, much, right? Pretty much. I was okay, because I've been to all those campuses. North Carolina campus is awesome, right? Yeah. And that's really beautiful out there. And UCLA campus, right, is great. So they like the do the girls team. They have their own stadium, I think now, right? Their I own believe field. so. Yeah. Okay, but were you, were you getting offers from these schools? Yeah, I was. Okay. Um, I was getting offers. Yeah, UCLA's close. What's wrong with well, so like? Uh, that's my alma mater, by the way. <laughs> so I went there. So then I'm kind of curious, like, what you're, you know, how you were thinking, right? Because they have a great campus. The thing I think mm -hmm. the thing I was thinking was more of the fact that my parents have paid for so much, mm -hmm. um, throughout like my whole soccer career. It's, okay. Like there was times where. I wanted to go to Sweden and yeah. I had to pay for that and yeah. it was just like a small tournament with a little team and my mom was like you're gonna do it like you're gonna go mm -hmm. and my dad was like no we don't have the money for that and my mom was like I don't care like we're gonna do it mm -hmm. so I definitely like that means a lot to me and I think I don't ever want to put my mom in that position where she has to pay for like education you know mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. if, if I can get it for free okay so I did get a full ride with uh, Cal State Fullerton mm -hmm. and I think I'm pretty proud of that and I hope my mom is proud too yeah because I'm close to home and she can come see me play and stuff, so. That's awesome.
All right, so then uh, Fullerton, you're going to be not too far from home, right? No. And uh, you're into, what's, what are you into, like, outside of uh, soccer then? Like, for example, uh, like music. And what kind of music, what, like, what are your, like, favorite artists? Like, if we were to go into your phone look at your playlist, what are your, like, top three or, or so? I like, um... Everyone says I like sad music. Like my aunts, really? okay. they're always like, "You like sad music," but I don't think I like sad music. I think I like like Post Malone. Mm -hmm. I like Post Malone you know, is. I mean, he he looks kind of sad, but he's not. He's not. Okay. Yeah, like he's I don't. Know. I like his type of music. Okay. I like. Is it Khalid? Did I say it right? I don't even know. How yeah, do you spell I don't even that? know how either. Do you, spell that? do you even know how it's spelled? I'll look it up. Is it with a K, K or a C? It's a K. K L probably yeah. E T E. Everyone says like Khalid. 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 I don't know. I'm just like. I love his music. I think that's probably his music I listen to the most. What kind of music is that? It's more like mellow, I think. Okay. I don't know. So it's not like hip hop or anything. Uh, it could be some okay. of his songs. All right. Who else? Um, I like who else? Mac Miller. He was okay. a big one for me. Got I it. liked his music. I like rap. Right. Um, who else? Let me see who else. Uh, Russ. I like his music. I don't okay. know if you know Russ. I know Russ. Yeah, I like yeah. his music a lot. Okay. Yeah. So more the newer, younger kind of, right? Yeah. What about uh, some of the older, old school? Old school stuff. Yeah. Um, I don't listen to that much old school, but in the car, my mom likes to like listen to like the upbeat funk type mm -hmm. of music, and I do like I know a lot of those songs. I'm like, my mom's right. like, how do you know those songs? I'm just like, I don't know, I just know them. So how do you how do you like listen to them? Are you, are you paying for like Spotify or SoundCloud or any yeah. of those things? Um, so you do pay for it. I do pay which, for it. Which one's your your app music app of choice? Spotify. I Spotify? just started okay. actually. I w didn't have like a whole membership with them, but mm -hmm. um, when I went to the World Cup, mm -hmm. I was like, I'm gonna be on this. 10 hour flight yeah. and I can't even like listen to music so I was like I'll pay for it mm -hmm. so I paid for it and I've loved it and I've just been doing Spotify so how do you pay for it you have like a you have a, a, a side have, job uh, you work or you have allowance for your parents how does um, that work how does that work for a 17 year old that's you know playing soccer at your level um I my mom gives me money okay. here and there mm -hmm. um so I'll do like tours or mm -hmm. stuff like that. My grandma, she'll give me like Spending what she money. calls domingos. Mm -hmm. So like every couple, you know, every Sunday or whenever she has money, she'll give me $20. Mm -hmm. But um, I try not to ask for money. Mm -hmm. um, I've been wanting to get a job. Mm -hmm. My parent, my dad doesn't want me to get a job because he just wants me to focus on school and soccer, mm -hmm. which is understandable. Mm -hmm. But I think I want to get the feel of that, okay. you know? So maybe like when you go to school, you'll think of maybe getting like a part-time job or what? Yeah, like even just to get the feel of it. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't really have, I don't have bills to pay, mm -hmm. but um, my parents just tell me like you know do good in school, do good in soccer, and mm -hmm. we'll take care of the rest. You know. Okay. What it, so then if you were ha if you were to have a job outside of soccer, what kind of uh, job do you think it would be like? Um, just for the feel of it, mm -hmm. I would want to work like at a Vans probably. Okay. I love I love Vans shoes. Vans? Okay. I do. I. I'm, I'm oh, no, getting you're wearing those the old school ones, right? And the yeah. black and white checker. Oh uh, no, these are all white. I'm actually oh, okay. getting into like the all white shoes. Uh -huh. So um, like Daniel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah, like, you know. Okay. Um, for Christmas there was like a little sale, like a twenty five dollars off. So I went and I had like four of those little cards. Okay. Of, I, of the twenty five dollars off. Yeah, the aren't they only like forty forty bucks or forty five anyways? They're or, like sixty. They're sixty now. Yeah, they're okay. sixty dollars. I think I bought it for my nephew and niece, so I should know that. Yeah, sixty bucks. They're not. They're not that cheap anymore, right? <laughs> they're not. Not. Okay. Yeah. And so I bought four pairs of white shoes. Like all of the, white vans. Of the same ones? No, different, oh, okay. different, different styles. Yeah, like kinda? old school, okay. the older ones. Yeah, and like, yeah. yeah. And the my mom was, ones. Yeah, my okay. mom was like, "Why did you buy so many white shoes?" And Four like, pairs of the white know. shoes, and yeah. they're all vans. They're all vans. Okay, so then what kind of what what what's your like style of clothing? So typically, like when you go to school, how do you dress? I'll mm, let's say I'll do like black ripped jeans mm -hmm. with like a, on a cold day, mm -hmm. a hoodie and a jean jacket mm -hmm. and some white bands okay so is that like a pretty like a typical kind of casual look mm -hmm, like okay. casual look for me yeah or i'll do maybe some blue rib jeans okay. with a active shirt and okay so rib jeans is kind of like one of your go-to go yeah. Go yeah it wasn't actually until are, they I got already, into are they already ripped when you get them or are you ripping them because you're playing soccer during pe or during lunch <laughs> huh? no they're already ripped when i bought they're them already ripped yeah okay. they're already ripped um I've gotten to the ripped jeans. I was used to be more just like plain jeans, mm -hmm. and my aunts were just like, "Get out of that style already!" Mm -hmm. And I'm just like, "Hey!" And mm -hmm. so I got. I was like, I never thought about ripped jeans, and mm -hmm. I started wearing them, and I was just like, I love them. So your your high school doesn't have um, those um, what do you call it? Those dress codes or anything like that with ripped no, jeans? No, no, they're pretty um, laid back. They're laid back. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, unless you know, you got something that's you mm -hmm. know, like really 
showy. Yeah, too and, much. And, yeah, too much, and they'll give you like a you gotta go home okay. type of thing. So vans. Okay, so it sounds like you like the casual vans shoes, right? Mm -hmm. um, what about like uh, your when you're playing soccer, right? What's your kind of fit, you know, in your style? Do you have a you know preferred uh, brand, or are you still you know you're open to it? And you know, I'm sure you get free swag when you go to you know places, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Um. I used to uh, be for Nike. I used to have. I was all Nike like cleats and mm -hmm. stuff. I was did really, you get that, or did you pay, uh, pay for it, or were they, like, given to you th through your teams? Uh, through my teams, they were okay. given to me. I mean, once in a while, if I wanted a certain pair, mm -hmm. I would go out and, you know, ask for them for Christmas or something. Mm -hmm. But um, I was really into the Nike, and when I started playing for Mexico, I was like, oh, I'll try I'll try Adidas. And mm -hmm. I tried it, and I loved it. I love Adidas. Like, I go crazy for them. I think um, for cleats, I'm like a shoe head. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I love you know like buying cleats and collecting them like okay. my mom tells me like they're so expensive and mm -hmm. i'm just like i love them like i have to have them mm -hmm. so you're so how many pairs of the cleats are we talking here like when i go to the store uh -huh. or like want, how do you ha i mean you have at home right now right now i yeah. have like eight pairs okay and they're all like uh, outdoor though outdoor cleats yeah, yeah they're like yeah yeah for the grass and stuff okay um but there are mostly they're all adidas um mm -hmm. i like the no laces Oh, you do like the new, the new style, no the laces. The new style, I okay. like the no laces. Yeah, it's easy for me, I think, because when I'm in a rush, I just mm -hmm. slip them on and I get out. Right. So then when you're uh, playing at a high level uh, and you're wearing those shoes, uh, the cleats, the boots, do you do you have to um, get, like, different sizes if, like, for example, do you wrap your ankles? You know what I mean? Do you have, like, ankle guards or anything like that? I do not. Okay. Um, most of the girls on the team, they do, like, they'll wrap their ankles. Yeah, they get their ankles, they like, get wrapped their ankles before wrapped. Okay. Yeah. But you don't. I don't. Okay. I don't. I don't. I just put my shoes on, slip mm -hmm. my shin guards, and I'm out. And no problem? No problem. Okay. Unless I'm injured or something, then, yeah. okay, I'll wrap something. But I'm basic. I'm very just slip my shoes, go. Okay, casual. Like, what, casual. Ab what about when you get, uh, like, dressed up for, like, when you go to a gala or you get, like, an award show, mm -hmm. right, or team meetings or even, like, the upcoming uh, – well, Sadie's a little bit more casual, but, like, let's say, for example, uh, prom. prom. Yeah. Um, I like getting dressy. as, as do. Yeah, I do. Okay. Like, there's times where I – you know, I don't go to like a party, a family party, and I don't get dressed dressed up. I'm like, dang, mm -hmm. I want to get dressed. Like, I want to like wear a dress and wear heels. Mm -hmm. And I think that's like what I'm feeling right now. I want to go to like a little small party and just wear heels and mm -hmm. like a nice dress. I think I definitely like that. Okay. So your parents are okay with you dressing up and yeah. putting on makeup and yeah. right? Okay. Um, I don't wear makeup. I, uh, okay. I I don't know. I've never liked makeup, and my aunts always tell me like, wear makeup, mm -hmm. wear makeup. And mm -hmm. I'm just like, no, I'm good. I think I like the. The, like na the natural, natural look. look, yeah. yeah. So even if you go to like a dance or whatever, you don't have to. I mean, I'll do like some. I don't even know what it's called. Mascara. Mascara. There okay. you go. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> the I think I only know like two. Th I only know like two things: lipstick and mascara. So I, got I mean, I do watch like those makeup uh -huh. videos, but yeah. I mean, I don't know. That's how much I don't wear makeup. I don't. Yeah, like yeah. know the stuff. Right. But um, I think maybe because I'm a jock. Mm -hmm. But I don't. I don't really. I don't ever wear makeup. Okay. So what about like, let's say for example, because your Instagram is uh, picking up, and you know you have followers. Let's say in the next few years, uh, and you 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 know your as your career advances, what brands would you want to you know be what like you? What would be some ideal brands that you would want to partner up with? Um, I always tell my family that I want to do like a little bit of modeling, mm -hmm. like not modeling, modeling, but for, like for clothing, like mm -hmm. H and M, Active, mm -hmm. like stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think obviously Adidas, I would want to partner up with them, like f cleats and you know, clothes mm -hmm. and stuff. Um, but like maybe I think more like the clothing brands that I wear, mm -hmm. like so, active. Okay, so like athleisure would be like your mm -hmm. ideal, yeah. So then if you were approached by uh, you know, clothing brands to, to partner up or, or uh, model their clothing, mm -hmm. what would be the, the type of like uh, look that you would? you know that would be ideal for you it'd be like the track suits and like kind of athletic looking clothes or what yeah i think it'd be both actually mm -hmm. i would do like the athletic like shorts running shorts uh, some running shoes stuff like that for mm -hmm. like the athletic part and then more of like the like, dressy like mm -hmm. dresses and stuff like that for the casual looks do you have do you have any kind of like influencers or celebrities or models or uh, athletes like that that you follow that you kind of emulate or want to emulate or look up to I like don't. you know Instagram, right? You, I mean, you know, you know, you have followers, right? Yeah. And you also follow. Yeah. Who are the ones that you follow the most then, and kind of like look up? Like in the whole like clothing industry, and or stuff just like in general, maybe in general. like yeah. If you if you were like looking through your Instagram, right? Mm -hmm. There's certain accounts that you know you kind of like look forward to or mm -hmm. look at. Are there any ones out there that you find interesting? I always look at like 
Selena Gomez mm. and you know the whole Cardi B. Man, you're, you're a typical teenage girl then, huh? Okay. Am I? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So Selena Gomez. Okay. Yeah. Cardi B. Cardi okay. B. Um, uh-huh. Who else? Let's see. I don't fam- I don't actually don't follow a lot of famous people because mm-hmm. then I have like a bunch of stuff on my feed and yeah. I don't ever get to see like my friends stuff. Okay. But um, when I like on Explore, mm-hmm. like I'll definitely like look at like. David Beckham and I'm just like oh you know or his wife Victoria and I'm just like oh they're they're a cute couple okay. and stuff like so you that. You still follow uh, David Beckham? I do, I do follow okay. him. Yeah. How do you how do you uh, know David Beckham? I thought he would have been just like too, you know what I mean? Because um, when you start playing, he was probably already retired. No. No. No, he's still playing yeah, he's still like playing. LA Galaxy. Yeah, at I the think time? he was like one of the 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 people like when my mom would talk to me about it, she's like oh mm-hmm. my god David Beckham you know mm-hmm. and I was just so like your mom was a fan. Yeah. And so that's how you became a fan. Maybe for his looks. Uh-huh. Could have been. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. But um, I I was a really big fan of him, actually. Mm-hmm. I would see his games, and I was just like, oh, he's, like, really good. And I think there is, like, this video that I saw on Instagram. Mm-hmm. It was, I think it was, like, a trick shot. He's mm-hmm. like, at the, at the beach, and yeah. he, like, shot it into like, this trash can, like, from far. And I was just like, what the heck is this? Like, just an edited video. Mm-hmm. But, um, yeah, so I, I look up to him and stuff with soccer. Okay. Yeah. So athletes... We got a little bit of musicians with Cardi B, right? Yeah. Uh, Selena Gomez. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other, like, celebrities or actors? Actors. Oh, I'm into, like, the Riverdale. Riverdale? Oh, Mm -hmm. that's Riverdale and Grey's Anatomy. Okay. Riverdale's the the Archie. It's, like, the new version, right? Yeah. Okay. Archie and... Yeah, and Jughead. Um, Right. Yeah. I I look at his... I'm always into into his Instagram, too. Um, uh, Because he takes pictures. Mm -hmm. And I think... They're pretty cool, so. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I'm into Grey's Anatomy, mm-hmm. like the Meredith Grey. Oh, okay. I don't ever miss. <laughs> <laughs> got it, got it. Yeah. Okay, so now moving forward, what do we have to look forward to? What are your like immediate goals now, like in the next couple of years, right? What do we have to look forward to? Um, for me, yeah. I think to look forward is college, definitely playing college soccer, um, and. Um, Right now I'm in the U tw- I'm starting the U twenties, mm-hmm. so I definitely want to go forward with that, and you know one day like be with the Mayod. Mm-hmm. Um, I I think I want to I, I want to do good in college soccer. Like I, I want to be pretty big in college mm-hmm. soccer. And um, if I you just, did, and so let's say for example, you know we fast forward through like college mm-hmm. soccer, and you and you're successful, and you're like one of the top goal scorers, and you're doing well as a uh, forward. What would be the next step for you? I want to have a plan B, like uh, education wise. So, okay. like, um, I was thinking of kinesiology. Mm-hmm. So, I wanted to do that. Um, there's a couple, more. I think when I get into college, I want to, I'm going to, I'm going to know more mm-hmm. about what I want to do. Mm-hmm. But as of right now, I think I'm pretty set on kinesiology. Mm-hmm. And so, hopefully, that'd be like my plan B because, you know, you don't always get to keep playing soccer at a sure. certain, you know, you get old and like your legs finally are like, you need to rest, mm-hmm. you know? So I think that would be like my plan B, you okay. know. Yeah. And what's your plan A then? Talker, of course. Okay. But would that be like NWSL? Are you thinking about like the in the domestic league or are you looking, you know, more European? Or are you, you know, do you watch like uh, the pro women's game? Yeah, I mean, I've thought about it like mm-hmm. moving to Spain and mm-hmm. playing for like a team over there. I think that's definitely that I something I've thought about and I haven't really mentioned it to my mom, but I've always been like I should, I should, I want to try that, you know. Mm-hmm. Like moving somewhere like in Orlando, doing like the Orlando team. But, um, and playing next to Alex Morgan. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. So I think that's that's something I've definitely thought about. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. All right. You want to have any last uh, final words to your followers out there? That I love them and that they're amazing because they give me so much support. Um, they definitely, I always get so many DMs like saying, oh my God, like you're so good or you we, uh, we appreciate you things like that and i think that's so awesome mm-hmm. i think that's definitely something big like for me like it inspires me mm-hmm. awesome thank yeah. you so much for joining us on the urban pitch podcast and wish you the best of luck thank you